to our show. Hola, Fayetteville. Hola, muy buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Claudia Zamora. Soy co-host del programa Hola, Fayetteville TV. And my name is Valeria Mercado. I am a student of FSU and also a co-host of Hola, Fayetteville. Y aquí estamos en este nuevo programa. Hoy tenemos eh, unos eh, invitados muy especiales. Queremos darle la bienvenida aquí a Kelvin Maldonado y a Gabriel Rosa. Y bienvenidos. Gracias por estar en nuestro programa. Gracias por tenernos. No, sí. muchísimas gracias por, por venir y especialmente ustedes son, ustedes pertenecen a una organización muy, eh, muy buena que está aquí en esta ciudad que se llaman Latin Riders MC, who was founded in 2003 in New York by a few friends with a common passion of riding. Mm -hmm. And today you can find our members all over the world proudly rocking their colors. Okay, mm -hmm. so can you please tell us, and, and uh, Gabriel is the president, right, of exactly. the organizations. Can you sure. please tell our audience a little bit about how it all started? So the biggest thing when it started, um, a bunch of our brothers got together. Uh, they would ride, and um, they loved the fellowship. They loved being together, and uh, it was up in New York, in Long Island, New York to be exact, and every week they would meet together and they would continue, continue, and people would see that and they would want to go together with them. So um, the club just expanded from there. Right. And, and how do you get to be here in Fayetteville? Well, we actually, so a lot of us are military. Right. And so um, hearing about the club, some ways, so I heard about the club and I started riding beforehand and saw the club Met, met up with them and I loved everything they were they were doing. Um, it wasn't just because they were Latin, but it just so happened that I'm Puerto Rican as well. So right, uh, it kind of fit Rican. in. Absolutely. ¿De qué parte de Puerto Rico eres tú? Yo soy de Nueva York, de Nueva pero York. No, yo <laughs> mi familia, exactly, I'm a New York Rican. Uh -huh. But mi familia, sí. mi mamá de Mayagüez y ma, mi papá de Bayamón. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Y tú, uh -huh. uh, Kelvin? Yo nací también en Nueva York. Uh, eh, pasé toda mi vida para atrás y para adelante entre Puerto Rico y New York. Um, mi familia es de todos lados, de Cagua, de Santurce. Yo en sí me crié en Santurce, eso es lo mío. Santurce es ley. El ley. Santurce es ley. Ajá, qué bueno. ¿Y cuánto tiempo llevan aquí, en, en esta ciudad? Bueno, yo, 2011. 2011, ok, sí. ya llevan un tiempo. Yo, yo llegué aquí en el 2000 y fui, regresé varias veces. En aquel entonces, cuando yo estuve aquí, los Latin Riders todavía no han llegado a, a Febo. Pero con el tiempo, como le está diciendo, son muchos militares, han llevado los Latin Riders a, a, a todos los Estados Unidos. So, eso está hasta en Colombia, en Japón, Hawaii, oh por todos lados hemos estado. Yo me llevando la bandera de, de Latin Riders para uh, hacer un, una, un brotherhood, una, una, una hermandad de, de gente que corre motora y otros mm -hmm. hermanos que quieren velarlo. Sí. Una cosita, Kelvin. A ver, cuéntanos un poco a, a nuestra audiencia cómo, cómo se maneja un brotherhood. A ver, cómo es, porque eh, hazme la diferencia entre lo que es una fraternidad, lo que es el brotherhood, un club. ¿Cómo se organizan so, ustedes? Cuando se habla de un brotherhood de motora, uh, es decir, yo puedo coger una motora y correr la motora completamente solo. Pero cuando yo corro con él y algo me pasa a mí, él conoce a mi esposa, yo lo tengo. él conoce el tipo de sangre que yo tengo, él puede decir, mira, él es alérgico a tal cosa. Él puede contactar a todo el mundo y decir, mira, pasó esto, lo tenemos en tal sitio, él me puede ayudar. Si corro con alguien que yo no conozco, pues ellos no, ellos lo que saben que soy aquel muchacho que tenía la motora blanca o la motora roja, pero yo no sé quién es, yo no sé el nombre de él, yo no sé cómo ayudarlo. So, estar con una fraternidad, eso es una. La segunda, como él le ha dicho, nosotros somos militares. A veces tenemos que irnos, hay mujeres que, que tienen que irse, hombres que tienen que irse, y entre uno al otro nos ayudamos. Llevamos a los niños a la escuela, los llevamos, hacemos fiestas juntos, celebramos el cumpleaños juntos. La, el Brotherhood es una familia, una familia que familia, creamos claro. juntos. Eso. Las mujeres nos dan nuestro apoyo para hacer un, una fraternidad, no una fraternidad, un Brotherhood, y, y entre todos pues, nos ayudamos. Claro. ¿Hay mujeres dentro del grupo de ustedes? Ellos pueden... Participar. Sí. sí. Ellas sí. participan. Ellas son sí. nuestras mujeres, nuestras ladies. Claro. Um, ellas a veces nos ayudan a organizar cosas que tienen que ver familiar. Cuando viene el evento familiar, vamos para la playa, vamos para tal sitio, ellas nos ayudan a organizar claro. todo eso. Sí, lo, sí. El día al día del club son mayormente los hombres que lo hacen. Uh -huh. Claro. 
Claro. ¿Y cómo, cómo la gente eh, participa? ¿Ustedes, por ejemplo, cada cuánto se reúnen? Eh, ¿Cómo son esas reuniones? ¿O, o, o directamente salen a la, a la ruta? Algunas veces nosotros um, textamos. Todo, todo ah, está de teléfono. Okay. So, a texto, social, social media, media, por nuestro, la página en Facebook que tenemos. Le decimos, Exacto. bueno, vamos a encontrar en tal sitio, aquel que quiera correr con nosotros, vengan, vamos a salir todos juntos. A veces, al igual que compañías grandes de como um, Cycle Gear hacen sus eventos, pues le decimos, vamos, a, vamos para tal evento, si quieren compartir con nosotros, compartan, y de ahí podemos salir para otro sitio, correr juntos. Y muchos sitios que son latinos también, que hacen como hicieron el chinchorreo o el cierre del verano, si nos dejan saber, ahí estaremos. Llevamos gente para allá. Claro. Wow. Sí. Do, you, do you guys, where do you guys go normally? Do you guys take long trips? Do you guys like? So it varies from place to place, mm -hmm. um, and and okay. depending on the months as well, because with the colder months being out in the Not going <laughs> in, Boston, in the right? environment. Even recently, we went down to Georgia. Yep. So we had okay. a group of. So we we have so many people in other clubs, mm -hmm. and the Georgia guys are like, hey, yeah. if you guys can make it down here, we'd love it. Mm -hmm. So guys from Georgia went down. Uh, guys from Fayetteville came down there, guys that were already yeah. in Georgia met up there, and we had an event with another motorcycle club outside of ours that we hey. went to go support them. So hey. driving there and driving back, four hours, not an issue. Yeah. We're usually about the two-hour range when it's cold, yeah. and then as the warmer months come, we start expanding it out. It expanding out. We okay. get to like Virginia some... or Florida. Yeah. So, so you guys participate a lot in the community, and you guys have some events that you share with the community? We're trying to we're trying to get that up and coming. Um, okay. A lot of it is trying to get the word out, trying to see who's available, what we can do, what we can provide for the community. So there's two communities, so we got to make sure we yes. explain. We have <laughs> our our Latin community or our Fayetteville community, and then mm -hmm. we have the motorcycle community. Now that motorcycle community, which is other motorcycle clubs of different varying flavors, they might let somebody in New York know, "Hey, my guys have an event in Fayetteville. You think your Fayetteville guys can go? We'll be there." Well, we got something going on in Virginia. Who can make it from the East Coast up to Virginia? Then we'll all show up. So it's, it's, it's kind of supporting our own, you know, showing love to our own little motorcycle community because when we have these events, back to school drives or whatever it is, those same motorcyclists are the ones that come out and help us. Yep. Toys for Tots, those are the guys that come Everybody out and help shows us. Everybody up. Right. Absolutely. So it's like a huge network. It is a yes. huge network, yeah. Right, right. It's a big network. And the biggest thing is making sure that people see um, that motorcycles are out there and making sure people are aware that motorcycles are out there. So um, having those different organizations, those different clubs, and being, being able to throw events, not only are we providing for the community, but we're also letting the community know, hey, motorcyclists are out there, you know, please watch out, you know, because so that's, that's the biggest other. one. Right, right. So what inspires you to, to do all this for the community? Mm -hmm. I don't, it stems back to the military, honestly. Uh, a lot of the community service that, that we did in the military um, and being able to come out and being a motorcycle enthusiast myself, just and being that, you know, having that brother, that's the biggest thing for me is, is now that I'm out of the military, you know, having that camaraderie, you know, that, that support. I do, I do stuff for the community for my kids, right? Mm -hmm. I want to be the light, the guide to my children. Not, my biggest thing is with his kids or my kids, is that they see us doing something, right? Something to emulate, to say, hey, when we go out there and clean up roads, when we do Earth Day and we're out there together doing something or we're doing a back to school, those kids are there with us. It's not like it's just me and him doing it. The kids are there with us. They're collecting up book bags, and they know that those book bags are going to go to those kids that don't have those, you know, the, the resources that maybe they have. Right. It's really about bringing up that youth, right? There's a bad stigma. And the legacy. legacy. Exactly. There's a bad stigma yeah. with, with motorcycles. You know, some people think, oh, they're in and out of traffic. Right. Um, there's different between independent riders where they might be all chaotic, but when you, we're in an organized group, right. and that's part of being an organized group, staying within your lanes and then doing stuff that is it's going to better, you know, that community that you're in. Right. And we do want to reiterate something. Um, <laughs> there's TV shows. Mm -hmm. it's, we don't um, necessarily do what the TV shows do. Uh, okay. there's, <laughs> like the, show. the Mayans, please, those are just shows. Right. Those you know, uh, we're all about being together, riding together, and showing support for ourselves and the community as well. Yes, yes and, and I, I've seen some of, of, of those events, but can you tell our, our audience, you know, which are the events that you like to participate? Where, where do they see you? Where do they find you in oh, the community? So some of the events that we've done, um, again, Cycle Gear, they put on a good uh, bike night, if you will, mm -hmm. where all motorcyclists 
from everywhere can come together. We've done, so I've, we personally have done Toys for Tots nice. and given to the Salvation Army. Uh, just try to donate or, you know, grab some toys for the, for the children. Uh, you got any? Yeah, items? so we work through, by, with, and through the community, yep. right? If a, someone has an event coming up, like we know Toys for Tots happen almost yearly. Marines put that on in conjunction with yes. Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. We work through them. We will be one of those poster places where you can drop off toys. So we got people in New York that do Toys of Tots and they do parades and they host big events. We got people in Hawaii that work with Make-A-Wish Foundation. They're tightly linked up with them. They give them quarterly money and they do stuff for them. Here, we are linked up with Latino Community Connects. We try and do whatever it has to do either with the Latin community or just the community. We gave uh, water to the homeless. We're, yeah. you know, we try to feed people. But if we throw on an event, we'll put it on our social media and we'll let people know. But mostly you can find the Latin Riders being the legs and the workhorses for those other bigger communities, bigger. those other Absolutely. places. They have the networking, we have the manpower, we have the legs to <laughs> reach yes. out. Nice. And are you doing something for the holidays now? We're actually trying to put something together. Mm -hmm. um, just a little Arreches. toy drive. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah. Um, now that you guys are all talking about this, is there a memorable moment that you guys said, this is where I, this, I need a ride, you know, I need to, this is where I'm supposed to be, I really, really like it. Is there like a memorable event or moment that you guys can think about? Yeah, so there's, actually we just had one um, this past summer. Mm -hmm. So we usually throw on an annual event and it goes from, from location to location. We've done it in the Dominican Republic, New York, oh. where our mother chapter is located. And we just recently just went to Tampa and the event in Tampa was amazing. I mean, we had over 20 bikes, yeah. motorcycles, and just, just to see the family come together and just everybody coming together and just that, just, just that portion of it. It's just, you know, the reason why we ride. Yeah. Yeah. And what's, what's the reaction of other drivers when they see the whole peloton coming out? <laughs> I feel like there's a little- That's there's, a big peloton. There's, there's, there's respect. You know, yeah, there, there is respect, you know, yes. they, they see all of us and some people do get kind of scared, but that's not, you know, we don't want any of that. You know, we just want to go out there and just be together. Right. Uh, I, you know, I, I've seen lots of people, um, there's, there's a lot of Latinos, there's a lot of, so, so Latin Riders isn't just a no. Latino yeah. club. Right. <laughs> okay. But, you know, it just so happens that we carry that name, so a lot of people see it that way. But just so that everybody knows. We have all, we have yes. Irish, pe Irish presidents that, that run chapters. Mm -hmm. We have everything, you know, it doesn't really matter. But, um, but when the community does see us, a lot of times I see people waving and excited. Kids love it, seeing us together. Um, we stay together and we ride together because we've done it for a long time. It's safer for us, it's safer for them. We're not weaving in and out of traffic. Mm -hmm. We're moving as one big, long group and, you know, we just, kind of snake our way through and make our way outside of the traffic. Yes, yes, yes. and protect each other. Yeah, so absolutely. That's, that's really good. Well, that's awesome. Um, is there a message that you would like to share with our community, kind of engage um, with the community, you know, through this passion that you both have? Absolutely. Uh, the biggest one, we've been here since 2012. We haven't left. Um, you know, with the military, we, we have members come and go. But the biggest thing is we are here. We're here for Fayetteville. Uh, we're here for North Carolina. And we want to embrace everybody just like everybody has embraced us. And just, you know, watch out for the riders. That's, yes. that's the biggest one. Yeah. Sí, y los que no hablan inglés también, ¿verdad? Sí, exacto. Sí, los ayudan. <laughs> sí. Yo, yo le digo, si, si hay alguna empresa, compañía, alguna agencia que tenga, quiera poner algún evento, uh, llevar a cabo un evento, Déjenos saber que nosotros nos vamos a apoyar. Cualquier cosa que sea para esta comunidad de fe, veo, los vamos a apoyar. Aunque sean los 15 que estemos aquí, tenemos mucho más desde New York a Florida que Exacto. vamos a llegar todos juntos y nos apoyamos a todos. Si hay un evento, déjenos saber que ahí estaremos. Seguro. Okay. Qué bueno. Muchísimas gracias eh, a, a los dos. Fabulosos. Me encantaría verlos con sus familias en todo el apogeo. ¿no? Sí. Eh, ojalá los cruce en algún momento no con el pelotón. Pero es maravilloso y los felicito por hacer todo este trabajo y por mantenerse unidos, mantenerse ustedes muy organizados. Porque uh -huh. sí es difícil estar organizados, ¿no? Exacto. Y, y, lleva, y lleva mucha dedicación mantener el leadership y, y, y crear esas, esas estructuras. 
Así que bueno, los felicito desde, desde el, nuestro pequeño grupo de aquí de Hola Fayetteville, con mucho honor de que ustedes estén haciendo esto. Y bueno, que no sea la última entrevista, que puedan no, visitarnos no. y hacer eventos en conjunto. Exacto. ¿no? Exacto. Sí, por supuesto. Gracias yeah, por tenerlo. Thank you guys for coming. Um, uh, for those of you that do want to have a voice and come on TV and talk to us about your passion and what you're interested in and what your craft is, please let us know. You can follow us on our social media. You can find us on YouTube under Bronco Television. And yeah, you can follow us on all our social media and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So thank you all. Y esto ha sido todo por hoy. Nos veremos en el próximo show. Hasta la próxima. Gracias. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.